Manohar Lal Ji. Ko aise it's noon on the outskirts of New Delhi. These BJP workers are getting ready to plan their day. Right now it's 12.30. At 1 p.m., we'll post on all of our X accounts. We have to get the hashtag Manohar with farmers trending. Arun Yadav is the lead social media strategist for the BJP in the state of Haryana. Every day, he and his team work to flood social media with narratives that promote Prime Minister Narendra Modi. On October 7th, hours after Hamas attacked Israel, one such narrative was widely promoted by the Hindu Nationalist Party. The official account of the BJP on X put out this video comparing what happened in Israel to what India experienced before Narendra Modi became the Prime Minister. Their tweet mainly targeted Congress, the main opposition party in the country. The video, which was viewed nearly four million times, was called out for being a planned attempt by the Hindu Nationalist Party to use a conflict in a foreign country to stir up emotions for domestic political gains. But Arun Yadav stands by his party's tweet. It's okay if they have tweeted, that's fine. India is a country which, is all, which has been for very long uh, suffered because of terrorism. After Narendra Modi ji came to the power, nobody can think of even uh, doing any kind of small attack also on India. Promoting the BJP has not been the only strategy used by the ruling party and their supporters. Ever since the war began, India has been seeing an explosion of misinformation and hate speech. Prateek Sinha runs a fact-checking website called Alt News. With his team, Prateek has debunked several videos which have been widely shared in India by Hindu right-wing activists, such as this one. It has been claimed that people who are alive have been uh, choreographed to show dead bodies, to show the extent of the toll. So they're saying that, look, people are not really dead. Thanks to online digital forensic tools, such as key framing and reverse image searching, he figured out that this video was not filmed during the current conflict in the Gaza Strip. We found that this video is actually uh, of 2013. It claims that it is from Al Azhar University in Egypt, where the students were protesting against police and army by, by posing as cops. Pratik believes that the spread of such misinformation is part of a well-choreographed narrative by the BJP and their supporters. The extreme right-wing Hindu uh, ecosystem in, in social media, they were taking dead people, they were pe taking suffering, images and videos of people suffering uh, and celebrating it. As soon as you are able to find a Muslim angle, uh, the Hindu ecosystem will go in an overdrive and try to villainize the Indian Muslim community. Since the war broke out, hashtags such as I stand with Israel were widely used by extremists in India. In this way, supporting the Netanyahu government became a way to promote their own Islamophobic agenda. A few of them even offered to volunteer for fighting with the Israel Defense Forces. We have only one goal, that Israel's government give us citizenship and enlist us in their army. We will fight alongside them in this war. We want to eliminate these Islamic jihadists from this world. While Hindu nationalist organizations have conducted multiple uninterrupted rallies in support of Israel, pro-Palestinian protesters were stopped and detained in the capital. Among them were Huda and Afif, two university students. You can see the blue men in uniform, those are rapid action force people, and we see the khaki uniform, Delhi police, and the paramilitary. People don't know anything about the history of what has happened in Palestine. The pro-Israeli protest that has taken place in India has a direct linkage to the Hindutu ideology. They don't know what's truly happening, but they wanted to uh, make a protest. They wanted to have a demonstration, so they're just doing just for a namesake that they uh, to reflect their Islamophobic uh, face. Right after Hamas attacked in October, Prime Minister Narendra Modi declared his undying support for Israel. Simultaneously, his government also reiterated the call for a two-state solution for Palestine.
for the long period of time, in the 70s and the 80s, we were fairly close to the PLO. That changed, of course, in 1991, 92, when India officially sort of uh, started its diplomatic ties, uh, ties with Israel. India has gotten a bit closer to Israel because of more sort of robust defense ties and more robust technology ties. They see what they go as sort of the minority there in, a, in, in the Islamic world, you know, trying to, trying to exist uh, or being on the re uh, receiving side of Islamic terrorism and so on and so forth. They see something uh, similar of facing the same things against Pakistan, for example, right? So there is that sort of common thread that they try to build. India's position on the conflict at the UN highlights its balancing act. While New Delhi refused to vote for a ceasefire, it recently condemned Israeli settlements in the occupied Palestinian territory at the General Assembly and sent humanitarian aid to Gaza. However, domestically, the conflict has taken a different turn. It is being weaponized to further the Hindu-Muslim divide as a strategy for the upcoming 2024 elections.